Hey what's up YouTube? In this video I'll be showing you how to make a beach. But there is one problem. My tutorial world lacks two very important things that a beach requires. Sand and water. So I've had to improvise. Here is my tutorial world's beach. It's looking pretty sad, so for the actual tutorial, we might have to go out into a different world and actually find a beach because, I mean, th this simply will not do. <laughs> this is more like it. I think this is going to be a little bit more suitable for this tutorial. However, if you are like me and you don't think too far ahead, and you have, let's say just as an example, decided to build an entire city in a super flat world, which lacks sand and water and most other things that one would need to make a functioning and realistic city, you might have to improvise. It might be time to grab the sand, water and shovels and get to work on making yourself a beach. I'm not sure it'd quite fit in here. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to build everything here so we can see how it's supposed to look in an actual nice terrain slash natural landscape as opposed to what we would have done, which is build a monstrosity, which we might actually do on stream sometime soon. So the first decoration that we are going to add to the beach is kind of a fun one. I like the idea of somebody buried in the sand. Whether voluntarily or perhaps involuntarily, you decide. So, we're going to stick a Steve head, and quite simply, that would actually do, by the way. I mean, that's, that's all you would need for this decoration. But, if you want to make it a little bit more interesting, if we add just a couple of stairs, kind of like this, so that the sand around this is a little bit disheveled, maybe even add something like this, maybe directly in front of it. And if we add just perhaps like a couple of smooth sand so sa <laughs> smooth sandstone slabs just around this, just so that it looks as though that the area has been disturbed, that's pretty good, but it seems as though that our old pal Steve is in a little bit of a pickle. Sorry, let me rephrase that. He's in a little bit of a sea pickle, and he's been buried up to the neck in sand. My worst nightmare. Okay, so this next one requires some banners and a little bit of imagination. We're going to be making some surfboards, so throw down a loom and grab any color of banner. Now, for the beach, I don't know why, I have my own favorite beach colors, like orange, yellow, and blue. Don't ask me why. So, the first surfboard we're gonna make, light blue banner, straight in there, and we're going to throw an orange die. The orange die is going to go straight up the middle like this, grab it, put it back in, we're going to chuck some yellow dye in there, and we're going to add a gradient effect. So, just like this. And boom, there you have a surfboard. Again, you, you've got to use your imagination here, and you can stick this pretty much anywhere on the beach. So, just like this. And again, imagination. But you can make this, just to prove that you can make it out of just anything like orange, light blue dye in there, vertical strip, grab that, Throw it back in, throw some yellow in there instead, and then add a gradient effect. You could do it from the top or the bottom, it, it doesn't really matter. Maybe we'll even do it from the bottom just to give it kind of like a, a different effect. And boom, you can even place it like kind of curled around. Now, the reason that we've got the carpets is because I imagine that, you know, just these by themselves, I mean, eh, you know. So if we just place out a couple of like, you know, just mats essentially kind of just like a little beach mat to kind of just like chill and lay on just surrounding this then that would work perfectly well so we just have a couple of surfboards and we just have kind of just like a little a little place to chill okay this next decoration may be my favorite so we're going to make a sand castle Basically, all we have to do is place four sandstone wall next to each other, just in kind of like a square like this. We want to dig around the perimeter of the sand castle, like so. And we want to place a set of stairs all the way around it, like this. And there you have a little sand castle with a moat. However, if you want to kind of like 
air quotations here, improve this, we can even give it kind of like a little, um, what, I don't even know what to call this, kind of like, you know, kind of like extend the moat into the ocean so that it looks as though that the moat, we might be placing these the wrong way entirely, so that it looks, there we go, that's much better, so it looks as though, now I've got to reverse it now, haven't I, there we go, so it looks as though, just got to be, there we go, there we are, and we, we can like have this run into the ocean a little bit, so we can like drop this down into the sea, that's why I've specifically made it um, here. And we can just have it look as though that the like tide is coming in and it's getting washed into the moat of the sandcastle like this. And it all just connects together. I, I think it makes it look a little bit cooler this way. You know, got to waterlog a couple of blocks and there you go. Perfect. Look at that. That looks pretty awesome in my opinion. And if you want to decorate it one step further, we can add a shovel or a spade next to the sandcastle and a flower pot so we can have like a literal bucket and spade with this and i just think that that's a pretty cool decoration and if you can't tolerate actually we we will let the water just flow so very cool little decoration very easy to make and probably my favorite out of the entire lot so for the next decoration we are going to be making a deck chair slash parasol slash little surrounding area, just kind of like a little chilled out little vibe area. So I see no better place to put this than right next to our friend struggling in the sand. We're going to begin by just digging in the sand and placing an oak plank. Behind it, an oak slab. Behind it, an oak wood stair. Behind it, an open fence gate connecting to the stair oak trap doors left and right of the stair and then we're going to stick a scaffolding with a flower pot on it that can be a drink i mean it can go anywhere really like forwards backwards left right we're going to make the beginnings of the parasol so this is going to want to be like right next to the chair so just right next to the gate so i'm using an end rod with a lightning rod on top just for a little bit of variety you can use two end rods and then i'm going to stick some string around the top of the lightning rods. First time I've used that in a video, by the way. We just want to connect this all together. And then we're just going to grab any two colors of carpet, doesn't matter which. I'm gonna grab an item frame and a book. So, for the parasol, you can either place white carpet in the middle and then yellow carpet all the way around, which is a perfectly nice looking parasol. Or you can kind of like do this, you can use a checkered pattern, also a solid idea, doesn't matter which you pick. On the floor, next to the beach chair, I'm going to stick just a book. So, somebody who likes to enjoy and read, chill, chill out with their friend, air quotations over, chill with a parasol and a drink. What more could one want? You might quickly be noticing a theme of chilled out areas on the beach. The next set of decoration is going to be a set of windbreakers with just kind of like, just a couple of beach towels in the middle just so that you can work on your tan and chill out and relax. So, throw down a loom, open it up, light blue banner in there, yellow dye, make the top thirds of the banner yellow, grab it, put it back in, make the lower third of the banner orange, grab that. You might have to make multiples of these if you're not in creative mode, but the idea is that we place one, two, three banners, and then across the back it's kind of one, two, three, four, you can see how they kind of like connect like this, and then we've got to face this way one two three just like this and you can kind of make this area as big or as small as you want because obviously like it's it's just up to you how many how much how many windbreakers you would like to place and um actually my bad it wants to connect like this there we go that that looks a little bit better so it actually like wants to connect to the banners and in the ground i'm just going to dig i'm going to chuck a bed because it it, it just it, it just looks like um, something that somebody would take to the beach and we can have the classic like white carpet blue carpet and you can always like decorate with you know you can mix and match things like if you do 
want to decorate with books and drinks and hampers. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make kind of like a little picnic area at next. Like, you can mix and match these together. Say, if you wanted to put that chair in here with the parasol, like, everything can kind of like go anywhere. Like, you're not specifically stuck the way that I'm showing you. So, the next decoration, once again in the theme of relaxation, is kind of just like a little beach picnic area. So, simply going to dig out an area of 2x4, and you can extend this if you like, so 2x4, just like this. Yeah, this isn't a bad place to put it, actually. Maybe even slightly over here. And you can extend this area as well, by the way. So, okay, maybe we'll do 2x3, or maybe we will just kind of like offset this a little bit. And we're simply going to want a checkered pattern of wool. I'm using white and red because classic picnic blanket materials. I want to have a picnic basket, so an item frame on the ground with some sort of food in it. Surround it using oak trap doors, like this. Stick an oak trap door on top as well, and it kind of just looks like a picnic basket. Especially if you leave it open like that. If we add, say, like, a little jukebox as well, we can add that just behind the basket like this. And if we just add, like, a couple of flower pots just as cups, maybe even some sea pickles, it just looks like a really chilled out area just to kind of, like, sit with a picnic, maybe listen to some music, or enforce everybody else on the beach to listen to your music, and just to kind of, like, chill. Easy. The next decoration that we're going to add is out of the vein of relaxing, and we are going to be making a beach volleyball net featuring beach volleyball so this is quite easy all we want to do is let's pick a place for this so over here we're going to place two end rods on top of each other take the upper end rod and place seven web going left of this and make this bigger or smaller depending upon room and blah 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 one two three four five six seven on the opposite side of this a couple of end rods and whilst that looks okay by itself, it's kind of like, oh, what is that exactly? If you place a shulk box on the ground, and once again, these colours, if you place on this, like, how do I explain this? On the front and back, the same banner, and on the, like, left and right, the same banner, I'm going to be using orange and yellow. It kind of just looks like a volleyball. You can even place a carpet on top of this if you did want to, but... I, I quite like it just as it is. It kind of looks like a beach volleyball, and of course with the net, I'm hoping that that's self-explanatory, fingers crossed. So this next decoration is pretty cool. I like this one a lot. We are going to be making a lifeguard's chair. So I think it probably makes sense to play this, place this kind of like in the middle-ish of the beach. So we want a two by two square of birch fence. We're gonna add another row on top, the back row of this, Birchwood Stairs, Birchwood Slabs in front, going to place birch signs on the left and right side of the chair. It purposely wants to look like a huge chair, by the way. So, here and here. And then, that's all fine by itself, and by the way, like, feel free to make it taller, but I, I think that that's actually perfect for what we've got going on here. And then, out of the back corner of this, I'm going to place... I'd say four end rods is sufficient just so that it's one row taller than the chair and then We need to place Beds or you can use string and carpet for this, but just to shake it up versus that over there We're just going to have these slams and we're going to have an alternation of yellow and blue beds and I did kind of forget this little material here, but actually we could uh, just steal the white carpet It'll be in the little item list, and we can just stick this in the middle, destroy all of these slabs, and boom, there you go. I mean, I might even like it a little bit better. It adds a little bit of a texture, and it just kind of looks good. It looks as though that somebody is overseeing the beach, which they probably should, especially if I'm there. I'm, I'm going to end up drowning or getting killed by a glow squid, so... So, for this next decoration, I'm going to be showing you how to make a jet ski. Two things. Number one, you can build it either on the shore or you can build it in the water. I'm going to be building it in the water because, I, I mean, that's... 
that's where they live. And number two, feel free to change the colours on this. It just so happens that me personally, this is the only colour combination that I like. But do feel free to alter the blocks. To, I mean, you can make it white, you can make it black, you can make it grey. you can Whatever you want to do, but this is just the one that I like specifically. So... We're going to start off by, of course, building it in the water, so it's easier if we start off with a solid block in the water. We want to have a row of two smooth red sandstone blocks extending up in the water like this. Behind this, we want to place a polished blackstone slab behind the lower block. And then behind that, this is tricky, we need to have a polished blackstone stair behind the slab. Then, smooth red sandstone slab behind, extend left and right. Place smooth quartz stairs left and right of the blackstone stair, with smooth quartz slabs in front of that. We then want to place two sideways facing polished and sight stairs extending forwards. Then, we want to place smooth red sandstone stairs extending in front and joining together in front of that. Then fill this gap with blackstone and then add a little slab on top. A leather or a lever, I don't, know, I don't know which one it is, extending out from the cut red sandstone here. And that just looks like, uh, like controls, like handles. And I guess if you wanted to take it one step further, like, I mean, you, the problem with these things is you can keep going and going and going and going. Like, we can add, like, a button as kind of, like, an ignition if we wanted to. And I suppose that we could even see if it looked good to have a pressure plate on top. It might. So, like, we can have a button to start and then a pressure plate on top. Looks a little bit goofy to me, so I'm going to take that off. And I'm not sure I like the button either, but I'll leave it. And there you go. Jet ski. Looks pretty cool. And, of course, I, I think it looks better in the water because, I mean, I, I think it makes more sense. But there we go. Jet ski. Okay, so for this next decoration, this might actually be my favourite. We're going to be making an ice cream stand. Yeah, the, the sandcastle's not my favourite. You can't eat sandcastles. Well, you can, but they're not tasty. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> We're going to be making an ice cream stand. So, I'm going to place this towards kind of like the back of the beach here. It probably wouldn't be at the front. And we need to start off with an upside down smooth quartz stair. So maybe even move it to the left here. So this is going to be the front corner. And I'm going to place an upside down stair to the right of this. Three slabs right of that. So one, two, three. Two upside down stairs. One, two. Behind this, upside down stair. Smooth quartz slab. Two upside down stair. Across the back, upside down stair. Three quartz slabs, two upside <laughs> whoops, two upside down stairs, and then extend forwards by one with an upside down stair. Leave a gap, and then we'll place an upside down stair here on this corner. Now, all the upside down stairs want to kind of like create this sort of effect, which I like. So on the corner, we want to place glass and extend it back by two, one two, and left by three, one two three. Then we are going to place a birch fence on the front right corner and we want to place two birch fence on each of the remaining corners. So just like this. A polished and slight stairs over here on the right will act like a cash register. A flower part here just on the left it's just a little bit of decoration. We also want to place Grab the block of iron, and along the back, somewhere on the left, I mean, you can even give a little gap here, we can place two blocks of iron, and we want to extend them up so that they are as high as the fence. I'm going to stick in front of this flower part, and a pointed dripstone. Now, that looks like, to me, an ice cream cone. So, I'm also going to place a tripwire hook on the iron blocks here. And let's grab some different stuff. Realizing we're forgetting a little bit, of, a little bit of stuff for this. There's a lot of material, so we need leather, cauldron, pink carpet, yellow carpet, brown carpet, and we want to grab. In the meantime, I, I did forget some stuff, but it'll be in the little item list that will be displayed. We need the birch pressure plate. We will also need the string, which is with string. <laughs> Where are you? There we go. And we need also 
three different kinds of carpet so we only have access to we'll grab that in a sec so on the front of the build here we're going to be placing a birch pressure plate that just looks like something we want to have a lever here just next to the tripwire hook i'm going to place a set of three cauldrons here just in the front corner of the stand with we have to crouch for this so with a pink carpet yellow and brown just to so that we have kind of like the neapolitan effect um, we're going to throw these away. We're going to keep the string in here, but we want to have... We can actually use the pink carpet, but... Oh, we did have room. We need white and light blue. And we're basically going to need to place string. And this is, this is actually a little annoying. Not my favorite thing to do, but... The idea is this, so starting from the front left hand corner of the stand, we're going to have white carpet, pink, blue, white, pink, blue, white, like this, right? And we want to have this, and this is where it's tricky because I don't think that we have to place string necessarily everywhere. I actually think we do, never mind. I, I thought that some stuff might allow us to... Uh, not not place the string, but that's more so towards the back and this is going to be basically like the little canopy kind of like the uh, I don't want to be rained on a part of the uh, the ice cream stands So actually my bad. Okay, so this is why it's tricky is because it's very difficult to see the string Let's let's extend these strips of the um, of the carpet backwards and then we'll be able to see where we can and cannot place this so here we go. Missing some here. Uh, we can place it on top of the lever, actually. And we can also do that on top of the tripwire hook. Uh, we can... We'll have to place some there. Here. So it's just on the back a little bit. Like, if, if you're a little bit... I don't know. I guess I'm a little bit slow. I don't, I don't know. It, I, I couldn't foresee that this would be a problem. Um, you might have to just like place some of it and then come back to it, place some of it, come back to it. But it's very, very necessary because it looks really, really good like this. Like it looks really good. Very, very happy. And the only thing that you might want to add to this to augment it a little bit or improve it, some might think. Loom, light blue banner, black dye, orange dye, white dye, light blue dye. Let's see if I can remember. I think I can remember how to make an ice cream cone. So, gonna have the loom, throw it down. Light blue banner in there. First of all, surprisingly black dye. We're looking for the diamond pattern. Grab that, throw that back in. Orange, again. Surprisingly the diamond pattern. Grab that, throw that back in. We want to place white dye in here. So we're going to make... I think I remember that. So we're going to place... Uh... Okay. Here's what it is. We're going to place the middle pattern using the white. Grab that, throw that back in. Throw the white dye out. Going to place light blue in here. Make the upper half of the banner light blue. Grab that, put that back in. Throw the light blue dye out. Throw the white dye in. We're going to have the circle in the middle with the white dye. Grab that, throw that back in. Use the light blue dye and place a border of light blue around. Boom! There we have our ice cream banner. And all of that effort was to just place that right there. <laughs> because it looks absolutely delightful. And as soon as the ice cream stand gets made, the traveling trader wants some. What a surprise. Well, if you've got emeralds, then you can buy yourself some ice cream. I'm not borrowing your money again. So, this last decoration might be a little bit niche, because I'm not sure if these are all over the world, or whether they're just a UK thing or what have you, but you know, decide whether or not you want to add these to your beach. Beach huts. So, these beach huts are basically just little... Th they're like a shed that you store stuff in that you might want to take to the beach. Some of them even have power, like kettles and fridges and stuff. So let's just make one and then we can decorate it. So more more than more often than not, they're at like the top of the beach. So like the edge of the beach. So that's exactly where I'm going to put mine. And I'm going to stick it just in the corner here. I'm going to place, use any two color concretes for this, by the way, as long as one of those colors is white. So we're going to place red concrete, extend to the right, white red white red and then the left and right sides here 
we're going to place white, red, white, red, white, red. I don't think that we've made that too big. They're supposed to be seven blocks long, so that is seven. And, I mean, you can't even, like, reduce the size of these because that is actually quite big. Like, you can, you, you know what? You could probably knock two rows off of that and it, it, it still be fine. So, why don't we make it just, like, five rows long? Five, make it a square, essentially. And then we want to join it together at the front. But we also want to leave enough room for a door. So, that, that's going to go on the right here. And we're going to extend all of these concretes up by two each. So, all the red, all of the white. They don't have to be seven rows long. That's a little... You know what? That's a bit big. But you could if you wanted to. I mean, who, who cares? I mean, make it as big as you like. Make it as big as the beach. So, we're going to have... So, the door is going to be here. Just going to have a normal oak wood door. I want to have a little window. So, I'm going to destroy a block here. Glass pane. I'm going to use... So, you can have used birch fence, or I find that smooth quartz slab might be good for this as well. But anyway, one, two, three rows in front of the beach hook, left and right, using the birch fence. And then the left side here, I'm going to extend the fence forwards. And then the two corners, I'm going to extend them up two rows, using the birch fence like this. And it, it might even be better with the smooth quartz. So, three slabs extending out, drop down, and then... Three slabs extending out, drop down, something like this. Then the roof is dead simple. Um, basically just quartz slabs on the left and right side. We want to extend them forwards until these slabs overhang the front and also the back. So we might have to tackle, take part of this tree out here. So here and here. And we just want to join them all together by extending them up just like this. We want to make sure that the roof um, has... What, am I, what, what word am I looking for? We want to make sure that the, um, that the roof area... We don't want to have any gaps in the beach hook, basically. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Brain malfunction. And we want to place some smooth quartz blocks here. And here, you see, these are already extremely long, whereas they're not supposed to be massive. Like, they are supposed to just be little huts, so... It, it might even be that this little canopy, this little overhang area, might not be that suitable. But I think it looks... it just looks way better with it. And, um... We want to destroy the inside. So, the inside might change ever so slightly now, because I, I did design a little interior for this that was for... Uh, so, obviously, we want a little floor. So, uh, the idea is I wanted a fridge in here, right? And I wanted, like, a little bit of a, a unit, a little bit of a countertop. So, a couple of light grey concrete brewing stand, flower part, buttons in front of the fridge area. And then just, like, a little seat. So, just like a seat. And I was going to use oak trap doors, but I don't think I can anymore. So, like a seat and a little bit of a table. And you can even store stuff that you would use in the beach in here. So, if we wanted to provide a little bit of light, then we could throw down a lantern. And it would make sense that, let's say, I mean, we've got plenty of stuff around here. It'd make sense that we'd have, like, a couple of surfboards. Or maybe even a volleyball. Or maybe even, like, a windbreaker. Or, you know, something like that. It would make sense that we have stuff like that stored in here. So, we could have the surfboard stored behind. And maybe even, like, the windbreaker next to the door. Something like that, you know. And, I, again, I don't know if these are even just a UK thing. Maybe I've got to Google it. They, they can't be, surely. They've got to be in other parts of the world as well. But, little tiny beach hut. And, um, typically, you wouldn't just get one of them. That's kind of, like, what's cool about them is that you would get, like... A long row of them. They'd be all across the back part of the beach. Like, whatever you call that, like, the stone part of the beach, you know, like, where people walk, like, at, I don't know if it's got a name or not, but that area, then, you know, you'd have plenty of those. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is kind of, like, all of the decoration that I've got for you for the beach. I think that we've filled it out quite nicely, and hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. This has been really fun to me. I do hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please do remember to hit that like button, as it really helps me and the channel out very, very much. If you're new around here, please do consider subscribing and clicking that little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all of my videos sent directly to your sub box. 
And if you do want to make anything else by me, check out the card system, the description below, and the top of the comment section for more, specifically the City Builds playlist. Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to have to make an artificial beach in my city, and we're just going to have to make this on stream sometime, because it's... I really love this, and I don't think I'd have to make too much of a big area. It wouldn't have to be too big, so... Thank you so much for watching. I love you all very much. I hope you guys have some fun at the beach this summer. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.